few months ago, we were trapped in Lumbridge with only a few tiles. Now, we're traveling all over Gillinor to see the sights, experience the activities, and ultimately, listen to the sounds so that we can get ourselves a music game. It's time for the battle! What's... We're gonna go and fight Tanglefoot now. But uh, I guess we gotta kind of figure out where he is and what to do. Which means I need to figure that out. Supposedly, the Tangle Root Lair is all the way down in the southwest. So we're gonna head all the way down into the southwest. Kind of uh, into this area right here. We're equipped with uh, our... Our, the best in slot that we <laughs> have. I ain't saying it's great, but it is our best in slot. Uh, we also have that 50 agility that uh, I was, you know, talking about getting. Which means we can probably use this agility shortcut and save ourselves some tiles, which is really cool. Let's see. Uh, apparently that was a hard task, and apparently we hurt ourselves doing that. Oh well. It, uh, it puts us closer to the Cosmic Altar, which is nice. Which is nice. I don't think we'll be runecrafting any Cosmic runes, but, you know. Let's talk to the Gatekeeper. Let us in, good sir. Okay. We're going to squeeze through the hole in the wall. All right. Thank you. There's uh, lots of dudes in here. They're hostile. I'm going to... Oh, they're not hostile. And I'm not going to run. We're, uh... We're ready to rock and roll. We just need to find Papa Big Tanglefoot and kick his ass. We have, where is it, 36 farming and 32 strength. And I was suggested that you have a total level of 40 between the two of them. So we do. Hey, there he is. In fact, we've got a total level of 60-something between them. So hopefully that uh, is good enough. And with this, on guard, good sir. He's gonna probably kick our ass. Yeah, we're, uh... We're not gonna... <laughs> we're not gonna survive if we do things <laughs> that way, unfortunately. But we can, uh... We can do things the coward's way. Oh, we're hitting consistent threes, which is good. That's, that's good. And when we're at full health, I will slam him a couple of times. We're not going to fight completely like a coward. We're just going to kind of fight like a mostly coward. Anytime our health gets below 20, we're getting GTFO. Yeah, like that. Ow. Please don't. Please stop that. I don't, I don't like when you hit me like that. And we jack in the, the face again. Good sir. And we're back to full health, so... Oh, I was too fast on the flinch. He attacks quickly. You know, bronze armor is probably not what they recommend for taking on level 111, but when have we ever listened to uh, guide recommendations or anything like that? We were fighting the Lava Dragons way early on. Okay, thank you very much, sir. That, uh, <laughs> that hurt. I'm not interested in that. Oh, damn! That, that, that wasn't, no thank you. That was not cool. There we go. Put that to 
game only, just in case the chat decides to pop off again. It's been doing that today, so we'll, uh... Consistent threes. I don't think we've ever so consistently hit threes in our life. Let's jack him again, and we'll stand and deliver. Ow, not while he's hitting twenties we won't, or tens we won't. Yeah. Yeah, we're a bit underleveled for this, but that's okay. We, we knew that going in. That was to be expected. And he's only got 20 HP left, so we're, we're killing him very slowly. If if he really wanted to, he could just walk this one tile and, and attack us, and, and we'd stand there and we'd fight him. But since he's not really interested in doing that, well, it's not our fault. He needs to man up. He needs to, uh, ah! No, stop manning up. <laughs> don't, don't man up. Okay, 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 okay. Ouch. That, that hurt. We're gonna just take a breather. We're not gonna flinch him. We're just gonna take a breather and really quickly eat up. And then... Fight to the death. Yes. Yes. Die, sir, die. Boom. And we take the queen's secateurs. Wait. Ah! These guys are hostile now. Oh, shit. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Ah, uh, we're burning tiles. I'm not, not happy about that. All right, let's be very concise in our clicking. We're going to practice for when we're... Uh, there we go. There we go. Now we're in, uh, now we're in the rhythm. And to safety. Perfect. Let's head over to the queen. Okay. For some reason, we don't just give the secateurs to the queen, who's the one who needs them. We're going to give them to the fairy godfather. Uh, yeah. Oh well, quest complete. That fat farming XP is lovely. Oh, I love that. Because that, I think is... Oh, hey! That gives us, uh, Addy weaponry. That's a nice little unlock. And a farming level. Phenomenal, love that. It's good stuff. The more levels we can get without increasing our HP, the more I'm, I'm happy about that. So now, what we're supposed to do is we can uh, head over to Lumbridge. And after a quick change... How you doing? We fixed everything. We are the king. We, we went in, we used these trimming tools to trim a... a tangle foot and killed everything and then we got the queen's magic secateurs and then oh and you gave them back to her right N no why would we do that uh why wouldn't you give the queen back her secateurs that's part of her magic she needs it to live oh we've made a terrible mistake haven't we <laughs> all right so we'll see you in five minutes because you're an idiot go plant your crops Yeah, man, thanks for listening. You, you seem to always know what to say. So glad I... Uh, hey, don't walk away when I'm talking to you, bitch! Should have been long enough, so let's just do some world hopping until we find a world where Martin is cooperating and the pig is not in the way. Martin! Martin, how are you? How's the... How's it... Can you... Can you face me when you talk to me, please? Slowest gardener in the world. Because it's been five minutes and you haven't grown a bunch of crops. What? What are you talking about? Uh, do you see the problem in this sentence? Because I do. But I gave the fairy queen back to the not fairy queen. Huh, really imagine that. All right, get angry with me. Uh, we're way under leveled. Don't care. Start the quest anyway. Back to Xanarus. 
Honey, I'm home! Obviously, the queen is going to be excited to see me because there would nothing nefarious ever happen by not having the, uh... By having the secateurs return to their rightful place, right? 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 I notice a conspicuous lack of, uh... Lack of fairy queen here. Why is he ignoring me? You piece of shit, I should clobber you upside the head with these secateurs. How'd you like me to prune your wings, you fat fuck? Nobody ignores me. Although I think I went to the wrong spot, so let's let's go over to uh Let's go over to Fair Enough and see what the hell's going on. Well, the place has been ransacked and pillaged and destroyed and otherwise looks terrible. Oh, and a cutscene that decided to uh, <laughs> trigger and walk me off track. Fantastic. Yeah, shit's broke. Shit's broke, yo. Okay, but it did mark that tile. Fair enough in the Fairy Queen. All right, well, let's manually mark that tile, I guess, because, you know, uh... We're gonna take the healing certificate. It's as if I almost didn't, uh, or I picked up that tile incidentally. Let's read the certificate. Okay. Let's study it. Aha! There we go. That looks like somebody was writing in hieroglyphics. All right, that, that does us no good. Uh, maybe now we confront the Godfather. You come to me on this, the day of my fairy tale. And you ask me a favor. You say to me, well, where is the Queen's Secateurs? Why would you do this? You know those are my Secateurs. You gave them to me, not her. A short stack. You want to, uh... You want to explain yourself? Okay, do you know of any idea who could have done this? No, not at all. It couldn't have been me. I certainly didn't kill her and then steal her secateurs and then jam them down fair enough's throat. Snip out her vocal cords. Nothing, no, not me. Okay. Well, what do I gotta do? Coordinate with the coordinator. I can handle that. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I meant to say that. Where's the coordinator? Oh, Mrs. Coordinator, where are you? I think she was the, the fairy floating around at the front here. Yeah, there she is. Ma'am, I have a question for you. I have been sent on a very important task. I just saw you next to my tiles, so how about you wander your cute way over here? And oh, you just about had me. There we go. Ah, let's talk about Fair Enough Certificate. And... Also... You're gonna be a pain in the ass, aren't you? Oh, maybe not. Perfect. Fairy rings. Okay. We can jump between planes. Fairy Queen harnessed that power, created fairy rings. Three fairy rings in Xanaris. Market, Evil Chicken Shrine. Near the fountain, that is a major portal. Anybody who activates the fairy ring will find themselves able to dial a three-digit code. Excellent. Dangerous place, imbued protective magic, stand in the middle of the ring, don't get yourself killed. All sounds good. Let's go. I want to use fairy rings. I have never used a fairy ring before in my life. It sounds to me... Like, we're about to have a major unlock. Yeah. 
grande. Configure fairy ring. Ta-da! I don't even know where we're supposed to go. Where should we go? I know where we should go. Let's go. Uh, okay. Let's go to Canifus. <laughs> yes! Oh, we have fairy rings unlocked. I don't even give a shit about the queen anymore. I don't give a shit about the queen. That, I'm so excited about that. That is a huge unlock. That gives us the ability to get all over the freaking place. So, let's flex a little bit of our... Um, a little bit of our power. And we're going to... Let's see. Let's start and go configure fairy ring. And how about we go D J uh, P Tower of Life, is that right? That's not what I want. I'm looking for Ardoin. That's a D, that's a J, right? That's a P, right? Uh, filter fairy rings are... Oh, okay, that, that search isn't there. Oh. Let's, let's... I'm, I'm just scrolling through the list here, because I, I... We've got so many awesome things. So let's start with... Penguins near Miscellanea. And there's some music. That gives us music. That's what we like. We're going to start unlocking a whole ton of music. A. K. S. Feldip. Grumpy. Perfect. Configure. A. KP, Necropolis. What? Oh, maybe I have to have something unlocked for... Oh yeah, okay, I can't go to Necropolis until I unlock it. Interesting. Hmm, let's see. Where is sure to have some usefulness? Let's just take a scroll through memory lane here. Well, let's go B. Come on. K. R. Fantastic. Good stuff. Now let's, uh... I don't even know. Oh, you know where we're going to go? I know where we're going to go. I know exactly where we're going to go. I need to figure out where it is, though. Where is it on my... Hmm. We want to go somewhere that'll unlock a brand new, awesome, amazing, perfect skill for us. But I got to figure out where the hell it is. We're looking for DKS. DK. Donkey's Kong. He's the leader of the bunch. And being out here, 
gives us a very quick way to get to the Keldegrim entrance right there. And we'll burn some tiles running down this mountain, but that's totally legit. We'll enter tunnel. And... Where on earth do I go from here? I guess we're gonna have to figure out Oh, River Kelda. Yes, that's what we want. So let's go through cave entrance there. And... I have no cash on me, do I? Let's travel. Let's see what happens. Oh, come on. Really? Well, we almost unlocked Blast Furnace, but, but we're getting stopped by 2GP. Come on! I, I'll give you an Earth Ruin. I, I'll give you a, a, I'll even give you a Law Ruin. How about a Law Ruin? Uh, can we talk our way across? Uh, I'd like to go further downstream. Yeah! Talk to your friend there. Okay. Ho! Ho there, human! Don't call me a ho! No, we're going to Keldergrim. Oh! Deal! Deal! Yes, I have to start the quest, but that's fine. Because... And I unlocked a tile right here, so I must be standing there invisibly. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. I dropped a tile down where I was. Is that cutscene? Okay, sure, I dig it. Let's let's do cutscene. Yeah, 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 yeah. Red text on the the background. You needed a, a little bit more of a black shadow around it to make it a little bit more legible. The dark days. Okay. Uh, excellent shot of the city. You can see our tile floating in the uh, the background there. And we clip through the bridge as one does. clip through the wall there. Couldn't have made it, like, so the camera's down, like, two extra inches, so we'd go through the pillars? Come on. The Giant Dwarf. It's a quest also known as the Regular-Sized Person. Uh, guarding the entrance. Well, he's not doing a good job of guarding it. In true Dwarven fashion, he was probably drunk at the wheel and smashed into the ship. And why are we invisible? We're, we're right there. It's eating up tiles on us. It's, it's ca casting invisibility. Identify yourself, human. Uh, in the words of Captain America, no, no, I don't think I will. Get out of here. <laughs> we kick the door down and walk in. Phenomenal stuff. Well, really, what that does is that gives us the ability to click on, not that, that, and here, and go Blast Furnace, and teleport, right? Oh, excellent stuff. And we're gonna zip our way over there. Now, where is Blast Furnace, is it? 
don't actually know. Is it down here? Maybe it's down here. Let's let's invest a few tiles and climb upstairs. Ah, uh, that doesn't seem right. Is there a trap door around here anywhere? Oh, there's an, uh, I see. There's a ladder on the far side there. Let's see. Yeah, climb downstairs. That's probably where we want to go. All right, let's open the door. And open the door. And open the door. And climb down the stairs. Hey, look at that. We've now got Blast Furnace. There's a bank chest here, so first and foremost, we're going to click Use Bank Chest. And then we're going to click over uh, Pour Ore on Conveyor Belt. So that we just use all the tiles that we need to in order to unlock all this fun stuff. And then we're going to check Bar Dispenser. And then we're going to click back to Use Bank Chest from here. There we go. We've now got Blast Furnace Unlocked. That is phenomenal shit. That is phenomenal shit. Because we're going to start... We got all of the iron to make steel. We've got all of the mithril to start getting going. One problem, though. We're poor as shit! So, in order to uh, to actually operate it, we got to have cash. The other thing we need is ice gloves, but that is where I'm going to call it for now. We're, uh, we're plugging along quite nicely in a lot of different things, so... I think in the interim we're going to start doing a couple more farming runs now that we've got these fairy rings unlocked and we can actually move around somewhat speedily, expeditiously. And I'm going to go back to Winter Todd because we are running dangerously low on tiles. We're going to get that all rocket and rolling. It's time for an upgrade, I think. <laughs> it's time for a couple of things, I think. Well, first and foremost, we want to talk to Prospector Perry. Sir, I have... Uh, is there anything else I can unlock here? I have a hundred nuggets for you. Up the ladder? Absolutely. Restricted mine access. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Expensive! Expensive stuff, but that's... I love it. I'll leave you alone. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And, just for the, uh, the sake of it, well, let's, uh, let's get a good angle here, because we want to be able to celebrate when we uh, unlock an onyx or something. Come on, onyx. <laughs> or, really, dragonstone would be all we're really looking for. Not even a dragonstone? Oh, there's a dragonstone. Excellent. That's all we really wanted. Perfect. Lots and lots of gems. I like it. I really do. So let's deposit all of this. We're continuing. Because we've now got Blast Furnace unlocked, I figured, well, I'm going to step up my mining into high gear. We're getting very close to where I'm comfortable with in terms of coal, mithril, addy, and uh, steel. But we're not quite there yet. Also, because I'm uh, very... AFKing right now while I'm doing a bunch of editing, it's uh, a lot easier to not have to worry about it, so I can just kind of click absentmindedly. So let's click Climb Ladder. Woohoo! <laughs> New area! This is that's really cool. Uh, where do we want to go? Where's going to be the least contested? Looks like this is kind of contested in here. People are going up there, over there. There's a rock right here. I think if we mine this and go to the back, we won't have that much competition. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that plan. Let's click back there. I don't know what the difference between these rocks is. I, I think something about they last longer or they're, they're a set amount of time that they exist, or something like that. I don't think you ever have to worry about them disappearing on you immediately, kind of like with the other ones.
But, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unlock that, and I'm gonna unlock that, and I don't know how many I'm gonna need access to, so we'll unlock kinda this grouping of them. Yeah, that should work. And then, because I'm unvariably, invariably, undubitably going to wind up walking over those tiles anyway, we'll just pop open those tiles. That way we can get to the ladder just by clicking on it wherever the hell we want to click. Which is perfect. We are now part of the elite team! Woohoo! <laughs> we've been hard at work, hard hard at work at Winter Todd, and we've been hard hard at work at the agility course. So we have got a lot of really cool unlocks. First thing is that uh, we're gonna grab 10 crates and we're gonna do some openings because I'm, I'm excited, I'm excited. Some of these crates should be really good. The, uh, <laughs> the aesthetic we've got going on is a little bit messed up, but whatever. The real important thing is that these supply crates should give us uh, some serious cash, hopefully anyway. Ooh, some burnt pages, we're looking for coins, kind of. We want supplies mostly, but coins, coins are useful. Guam's also very useful. Some of these, at, at least two of these are gonna be massive rolls because we had some really, uh, really good times there. And look at the cash stack growing, that's exactly what we're looking for. Exactly what we're looking for. Oh, nice. Because in order to do uh, Blast Furnace, we need 72k an hour, which is a hell of a lot of money. A hell of a lot of money. But that's okay. Because at the end of the day, Blast Furnace is going to be well worth it. Oh, Snapdragon Seeds. Nice. That's really good. Those are super restores. And Snape Grass. Nice. I like that. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea if that's... Oh, it's Super Anti-Poison or uh, Super Anti-Poison and Anti-Poison Plus Plus. So I think that'll be useful. More Mahogany, which is great. Love Mahogany. Maple, not so much, but the cash is nice. We're kind of hoping, I mean, we're already kitted out in terms of the Pyromaker uh, outfit for warmth. So if we get those, those are good for the XP, but, uh, you know, that's okay. And we're going to put that to game because we were watching some of the stars get called, but nothing nearby, so we didn't bother. What else have we got? Renar seed, nice. That's really important. Those are worth a ton. Those are like what? Yeah, 32k. Not that we can sell it, but oh, and magic logs, even better. Well, not even better, but nice. All the same. Oh, there's one of the big ones. <laughs> Holy shit. That, okay. That's amazing. Yeah, we were, uh, we were soloing. Winter Todd with some uh, some friends that we met in the ooh nice the pyromancer hood brilliant brilliant I like that uh, we were soloing it or I guess solo is the wrong word we were very small group doing it because uh, we thought well I'd never done that before and I wanted to give it a try and it seemed oh that was a shit roll. Four dynamite and saltpeter? Get out of here. All right, let's withdraw what we got. Five and six? Yeah, we'll do five and six, because I think one of these other ones is going to be the other super big one. But I enjoy, uh... One, now that I've got the hang of it, I really enjoy... Yeah, more dynamite. That's useless. Uh, oh! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, look at us! Oh, fuck! Is that, that's the full set, isn't it? No, there's still shoes we're missing. Damn. But still, 
That was... I was not expecting that at all. We still... I, I would really love... I'd still really love a... Uh, a dragon axe, though. That's kind of what we're hoping for. It's kind of what we're hoping for. Wait, wait. Ooh, another burnt torch. Okay, so those are good... Because when we have three of them, we start rolling on a different table every time we're going to land one. So that's that's fine. I would have preferred the boots, but whatever. I'm not going to complain. All right, this last one should be just disgusting. I need 21 spaces to open. Uh, don't open. Okay. That, that's... Holy shit. All right. I, I didn't realize we needed that many spaces. All right, well. Boom. Wow, 21K. Teak seeds. Ah, it wasn't, it was a lot of uh, coin rolls. One coin, two coin, three coin. Four, five coin rolls. Still amazing. That was all very necessary supplies. And that puts us up to 100k, which gives us the uh, great ability, for at least a moment, to be able to operate Blast Furnace for an hour. We can do that. We can crank out a ton of these Mithril Ores into the bars, sit pretty much happier in that regard. The other piece we need to do is, uh, well, we need to withdraw, what, 260 of these, guys. Because as cool as our outfit is for the Pyromancer, we've got to uh, take care of a different type of outfit. And that outfit, we need to go to Birth Rope for. And let's, uh, let's turn off our, our run here for a second. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? 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 What, are you doing? what the fuck were you doing? Okay, whatever. I. <laughs> Rah, but whatever. Alright, let's open the door. No, is this behind or where do we go to get in here? Ah, the trap door. That's where we go. I think, anyway. Yeah, look at that. Open door. Cool. We've got 58 agility. I'm gonna keep doing uh, Canifis until 60, at which point, you know, we'll move on. But uh, with 50 thieving and 58, uh, uh, agility, we can start doing runs through the rogues den. Now, let's figure out where do we go here. To get our graceful. Martin? That doesn't sound right. There's a bank guy there. I'm thinking it's over here somewhere. Yeah, grace. Trade grace. Uh, Alright, well, let's... Alright, look at this. Graceful hood. Graceful cape. Graceful top. Our collection log is now in the way, so... Uh, graceful top. Graceful legs. Graceful gloves. Graceful boots. That's the full fucking kit. Holy shit. Let's, uh... Fucking mint! <laughs> Look at us now! Oh wow, we've got so many cool outfits. That's really cool. Oh, I got full graceful. Brilliant. And there's a bank chest right here, so let's unlock it. Guy using the uh, the fire pit right there. Actually, we've got a lot of raw food, don't we? 
yeah, we've got trout, salmon, anchovies, tuna. We could use that uh, fire, actually, probably pretty, pretty handily. All right, now, with all of our uh, available tiles, do we go through and try the uh, rogue's den? A run through the rogue's den? I think we do. Let me figure out how to do that, though. All right, let's do it. Open the doorway. To suggest that you go in with nothing equipped. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I guess I gotta go talk to Brian. All right, Brian, hello, sir. Can you, yeah, perfect. Hello. Yes, uh, yeah, actually, what do you got for me? Uh, get to the center of the maze, get greater rewards if you get all the way to the end. Okay, sounds good. Uh, okay, I keep an eye out for a harmonica. Now we open the doorway. All right, so I think what we do is we go one step close and we toggle run. Oh, it killed our prayer. And we click there. Excellent. Can we mark this tile? No, it doesn't look very good. Uh, interesting. Well, let's unmark the tile. Then, let's uh, see here. Enter contortion bars. I guess we just have to go for it. Oh, that was pretty, pretty smooth. And let's see, let's go to this tile here, I guess. Didn't even, I just dove through, okay. All right, then we want to go up here. And up here, and across here. <laughs> Cheat by using the stairs, making sure that, uh, you know, we don't have to deal with any of these spike traps. Excellent. And then, let's see. I think we want to do a run right to here. And then a run to here, I think. Yep. Excellent. And a run to here. Okay. Having all these tiles marked will be phenomenal. And then, let's see, in between. And then I guess we can click over here. What we should do is we should really mark the tiles, though. Let's let's mark the tiles. Uh, can we label them? What happens? Test. Oh, oh, okay, perfect. The text shows up, so we can. So we can. Ah, oh, excellent. That is really good. I'm not gonna make everybody sit and watch as I figure that out, but uh, I will, however, just finish doing this area. Label time. Here. Beautiful. Good shit. All right, now let's see. I guess we wanna go up here. Turn off the run. Climb the ledge here. Hopefully not fall to our death. Good, good stuff. I like that. And guess we'll head to here, kind of next to the skeletons. Flash powders, eh? I wonder if I need those flash powders. There's a rogue guard there. I think I'm going to avoid that guard. 
That seems like uh, something I want to avoid. Okay, we're gonna walk there. Oh! Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Okay, that's how that works. Well, that was a, a shame that I burnt some tiles running that way, but that, so be it. Let's go there. We dove through again. We're, we're doing a good job. We're losing our ability here, though. That's that's not great. Uh, and then I guess we climb across the ledge. Yeah. Nice. And if we zoom out here. Let's go over here. It's skipping tiles again, as it does. Uh, all right. I think we'll click uh, here. Then here. Then here. Then here. That seemed to do the trick. Now, through the passageway. And now we need to make sure we left click on the saw. Ow, that took out uh, a good chunk of our uh, ability there. Uh, okay, well. Every time it loads, it, it wants to skip a tile. I will not let it, though, despite its best efforts. Now, I guess we'll go over here. Yeah, that looks right. Yeah, now I can see wall spikes in there, so let's try... Go. Oh! Shit! Well, that knocked us the fuck right out! Now what? How do we get our rewards? Because it said as far as we made it, we'd, we'd get... Ryan, I need you to come back here for a second, sir, please. Sir? Sir? Oi, you swarmy. Okay, so I want to try the maze again. Okay. What do I do? So I have discovered, after reading up on it, that triggering a trap kicks you right the fuck out. <laughs> that's, uh, that's that. That sucks. But, uh, whatever. Oh. Skipped it. Oh no, the court contortion bars. Okay, I see. So, uh, give this another go. I'm gonna give this a few more goes and see if I can't, uh, get this a uh, little bit more tagged out with, uh, where I need to be clicking. After getting our asses kicked a few more times and using a whole ton of tiles, I mean, we've, uh, come on, Mr. World Map, please. Can you, uh, can you show me where I am? Is there no map for under here? Interesting. Surprises me, honestly. Uh, where the hell is Brimhaven? 
Where are we? Where? Okay, there. No, oh, there's no map for that. Huh. I guess that makes sense so that you can't map it out. Either way, we, we've gone through a lot of tiles and we still haven't made it to the center. I'm gonna keep trying off on my own. <laughs>